Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the basement yard. Hey, bud, Frank, how's it going? You couldn't, I, I, you couldn't I, pick I, one. You I, couldn't I, pick I, one, I, so you went all over the place I with went, that one. I, yeah, I, yeah. You got a haircut. Yeah, I did. Haircut and shave. I still like left it long. Yeah, don't do that anymore. Like, <laughs> get it, get it cut. The whole what? shaggy thing. Uh, you moved to Brooklyn, and now you want to look like an ironic like person that takes care of themselves. I'm like, just, I take care of myself, but to a degree. I'm. T- what, do you, what, do you, what does that even mean? You Brooklyn people, man. You okay. you swear by this whole like you know like uh, it's ironic. Style like I'm gonna wear designer that looks like it got fucking run Frank, over you've by been a out cat. In Brooklyn, maybe thrice in your whole life. Yes, but I know the people that live here. Oh, I you eat, do. I e you, you who I e I e. I thought you said I eat. I I don't eat. Well, I do eat. Oh, you could tell. <laughs> I do but eat. Like, I know the people that live here. It's all these ironic hipsters that mm. like you know they wear like that's why fashion companies now they're releasing like fucking. Clothes that look like they were dragged by horse for 12 miles, and they're like, oh, this is a fucking $30,000 shirt. I don't know about that. Uh, they are, though. Tell me I'm wrong. Yes, you're wrong. No, I'm not. Okay. There was a... Uh, recently, your, uh, the company that you're going to start working with, Balenciaga, they, they recently released something... Okay, I'm not working with the company, one. Uh, two, I'm proud of you for I saying... I said it right. <laughs> I, I really... Saying the name right. I re- Balenciaga. I used to say Balenciaga. No, that's how you say it, you idiot. Balenciaga. You, yeah. That's how I used to say it. I, it. I tried to work on it for you. Balenciaga. Because it's the small things that show you that I listen to you, you know? Here we go. Uh, but they, they do that. They released like a, it was like a pair of pants. Someone released like a pair of pants that were just like destroyed. And mm-hmm. it was like fucking like 3,800 bucks. Yeah. Doesn't, don't, don't get it. White pants. White pants. White pants parties. Do you remember those? Those white pants parties? Oh, dude. What a weird segue i do remember that but that was about like blowjobs or something right yeah we knew people that grew up and lived on long island and they said that they went to something called white pants parties being the inquisitive young men that we were we say what's a white pants parties what is that is it the type of party where joey doesn't let any people of color in and he said no that's something completely different and they said okay what's a what is a white pants party they said allegedly I've never been to one. You've never been to one as far as I know. No. I... But you eyes wide shut weird, you know, Brooklyn rich people. Here you, we go. you never know. Apparently, it would be a co-ed party. Yeah. Boys and girls. And people would get sucked or whatever. And the girls had to wear white pants and the boys didn't. And the idea was like they had to like hook up with someone and whoever got the most dirty pants won. I don't know what they would win. Probably nothing. I, I don't think like that for me, lose lose. Ruin a pair of pants. Ruin a pair of pants. I'm saying if I'm the one wearing the white pants and doing the sucking, because I don't want to suck. Yeah. And I don't want white pants all ruined. You're right, exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm those, saying? Yeah, those, those suck. Uh, so, well, uh, whatever. Also, uh, the reason why I was like, oh, is because uh, did you see, uh, you know, Michael Rubin? He's like a billionaire and he has like a fucking. A party every year for his birthday or for oh July. i did i did i saw it was like, like the all white party or something it's like that all white party and it's like uh it's like the it's crazy the amount of like celebrities i saw that it, it's that. funny because i saw like the first one was like uh, uh like i think it was uh, who's the owner of the patriots again his name is robert Kraft. i saw robert Kraft, and then he was like saying what's up to like jay-z and beyonce and i was like oh that's kind of kind of cool and then I saw next James Corden. I was like, fucking slam. <laughs> <laughs> don't want to go there. We got to sneak into this party, dude. I don't think we're rich enough, dude. Duh. Well, I'm saying like, even if... All right, forget about being rich. I don't yeah. think they would want us there. No, of course not. Like, what, would they get, what are they going to talk to us about? Tell us about your fucking podcast. No, no, no. Well, they wouldn't know. We could just lie. I, we crash it like wedding crashes. No, you can't lie to billionaires because they'll pay to fact check you like on the spot. After we leave. No, they got, they'll be like, you know what? Stay here. You stay here. I'll give you $20 million. Then they'll go fact check it. Mm. We would have to wait until it's like later in the night. So like the dude who makes the guest list is like too fucked up to realize that they were now we weren't invited. I don't think like places like that, they're on probably like a private island. No, they're on, they're in the Hamptons. Oh, really? I'm pretty sure I've. When I stayed with Danny in the Hamptons, I'm pretty sure the house that he has was across the street from the one that I was at. You know what's crazy is in my old job, I had uh, I had worked um, like a case 
of someone in the Hamptons who had who was getting sued because they had like a crazy fucking it was just like a party like a normal birthday party but they shoveled like two and a half million dollars into it yikes yeah so I might I might have I might have dealt with something like that I remember I saw pictures of the estate and I was like this is gluttony this is not good it's crazy it's kind of not nice yeah because I feel like the way that that house looked from like the video that I saw it looked like the house that was across the street and it was actually funny too because they have like a separate sort of entrance or whatever from the street and <laughs> that was the video of Danny singing No Power in the Hamptons I remember that video screaming it to like people who are walking into this place so now I'm imagining if it was this dude's house damn and Jay-Z was just like the kind fuck of, can, <laughs> Sample that. Who's that? Who's that fat idiot over there? He's got, <laughs> he's got some flow, dude. And I just hear your fucking annoying cackle in a basketball jersey in the background. Legitimately, what happened? Yeah, I was off of the, all of the White Claw at that time. Yeah, you it were. It was wearing... a big popular White Claw moment. Also, Hamilton soundtrack for some reason. Uh, well, Hamilton soundtrack is timeless. You know, well, I, I. Well, I'm just saying it's like White you Claw. Think Lin, and the you Hamilton... think you think Lin Manuel is going to those fucking parties? No shot. Who, honestly? Yeah. Who would you rather be locked in an elevator with for? An hour. Oof. James Corden or Lynn Manuel Miranda? And how annoying would both of them be? Yeah. I probably choose James Corden. No way. You gotta go Lynn, baby. Yeah, but I feel like he'd try to like make up a song about how we're stuck and I'm like, dude, li- yeah. literally Or James Corden is just gonna sit there and fucking either physically assault you beat you with a lead pipe. That would be not horrible. Apparently he's not a nice person. Dude, beat me with a lead pipe if we're stuck in an elevator. I got stuck in this elevator. Did you? Bro, I almost blew out both my knees. Oh, I thought I was going to say, who else was in this elevator? No. <laughs> I was in the elevator. I almost blew out someone's back. I almost I was blew like, someone's damn. back out in the elevator. But I was in the elevator and I was taking it down. And when we hit like the fifth floor, like I'm just not expect. My knees were like locked and the thing just stopped. <gasps> and I felt like my fucking body went through my oh, legs or whatever. Like one of those, like you got squashed. Yeah, and I was like, "What the?" F-? And then I was scared, and I was pressing all, literally all of the. Were buttons. you by yourself? Yeah. <gasps> oh, if you're by yourself, it's not that bad. It's worse when you're with other people, because then you need to talk about it with them. You know what I mean? Because then you need to be like, "I've no- this." Yeah. This elevator, it does it, man. That's the worst part about having a dog. It's the small talk. With your dog? No, no, with like other people with dogs. Oh, uh, because what's his name? How old? A boy or girl? Wow, he's big. Wow. Oh my God, he's so cute, boy. He's so cute. Yeah. You know, and then you need to give them the 411 on Charlie. There is a woman who is like outside my building who is like here, here just, or like where you live. Where I live. Okay. And like she's like a, just a nice bubbly woman, but like I'm not too much trying to do this right now cuz like usually it's at like 8 in the morning or just, or even earlier. And I'm walking the dog and she's like <gasps> I, and I'm like, I, he's a, yeah. I, I, it, that drives me nuts when people do that thing with animals, like they're meeting like a, a fucking prince. They're like, oh, who's this dapper young man? Yeah. It's like, it's a fucking dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then she walks up and she's like, do, 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 do. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come here. And I'm like, he's like, come here. Who, who, you got, you're on your way to work? And it's like, no, he's going to fucking take a fat, wet shit. Probably. And I'm going to have to pick it up. Yeah. Okay. You know exactly where he's going. Yeah. You know where he's Carol. going. Carol. Jesus. Is that her name? God knows. I haven't asked. Do you haven't asked her? What does she look like, though? White. Karen? Carol? Ka- Tana? I'm not going to have an, an answer for you. You know that. I what, just said I don't know. What does name. she look like, Joey? This is a comedy a podcast. A white woman. Just like a like a Michelle. One of those. Michelle. Run of the mill. Michelle. First name you thought of was Michelle. Feels like a brown hair white person's name. Yeah, despite the fact that probably most popular Michelle is Michelle Obama right now, Joey. Jesus Christ, she's where your uh, head is at. <laughs> Why'd you say right now? <laughs> this <laughs> very minute, right here. Who's the other popular ones? Michelle Geller. That's Sarah Michelle Geller. Well, the Michelle Branch. Michelle Branch. Michelle Branch. That's Michelle. What does Michelle Branch say? Uh, Sing? Not say. Oh, no, that's... No, uh, that's Vanessa Carlton. Oh, no, Vanessa Branch is... uh, No. Wait, what's her name? Vanessa Carlton (laughs) is who you're saying. Michelle Branch. Michelle Branch does... Because you're everywhere to me. And when I close my eyes, it's you I see. And everything I know that makes me believe. 
She's good. She got hit, and she has another one there, but I don't really remember what it's called. But that's a banger. Oh, oh, it's a good album. Is it? What? Well, shut, shut up! Shut up! What's the name of the album? Like, probably like Destiny or something. Yeah, like I was gonna say it's probably one of those like fucking <laughs> obscure. Like, it's not the intro album where it's just their name. It's just like Autumn. And you're like, okay. Yeah, it, re- you released this in March. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? What are we, what are we saying with this album? Damn, um, Michelle Branch. Michelle Branch and v- N- Vanessa Carlton may be the same person, though. When you really, like, if you... If white, you women like, that's, white women that sing. Yeah. Yeah, I, I it's agree. A, it's a, Just like, uh, I, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Of course. Also the same. Mm-hmm. Reba McIntyre and Melissa Etheridge. Same people. I don't even know who that is. Melissa Etheridge? No. Come to my window. I'll be home soon. That's a fucking bang. I also think Melissa Etheridge. Would you would you would you uh do stuff to Reba? No. In her prime? That no. Reba, dude. Really? I don't I'm not She's a... got something about her. Really? Reba. I I just remember that stupid fucking sitcom that was on where she She's would. She's always just... talking on the side of Russia. Like, Come on, we gotta get home for school. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a good impression. It's one of. The, it was like one of the like super cheesy fucking like sitcoms where it would be like, uh oh, I thought I made meatballs today. Guess it's meatloaf. You yeah, know, and like yeah. everyone was coming over with like pasta. You know, stupid shit like I know. that. But I just feel like, you know, I, I, something about Reba that I was like, okay. I think she just, you know, like, I don't know what it about it, her it is, but like anytime, she's the type of person that always reminds you like who they are. Like, I'm Reba. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Like, it's me. It's Reba. Reba. Yeah. I'm, I am Reba. Yeah, I feel like she says that like to her husband every night. Good morning, I'm Reba. Yeah. You know, and you're <laughs> like, does. I know, I married she you. She does, 100%. Yeah. yeah. That, that sitcom, I remember like, you know how it would be like, you know, the song and then. The song is fire. I'm a survivor. Well, that, that I was gonna say is like it would end with her and like her family like scrambling, like doing that like sitcom thing where they're like scrambling for a picture, and she's like, like the fucking and the, it's supposed the to be like did that too, and it's also it's supposed to be like an upbeat thing, but it's just like I beat cancer, and it's like <laughs> you know like good, but like yeah. didn't, it didn't match up with what yeah, they were going know. for. What a show! Shout out to Reba, man. Shout out. I want to look up Reba. What's she doing? I mean, she's just, you know, she's probably just like she's sitting on being, her millions. Being Reba. Reba McIntyre. Can you name one Reba song? I'm a survivor. I guess. Uh, Can you name two? I'm looking at the fucking titles and I don't know them. Uh, give me one. Does he love you? Does he love you the way? I don't know. I just made that up, well, honestly. I, I was fully aware, Frank. <laughs> yes. I know. Dude, come on. Reba's got something going on. She is 68 years old. Years young, bitch. Sorry. Disrespect the redhead country queen. She may be the hottest she's ever been. Let me see. Let's see what's up. Look at these these photos. See what's up with Reba. Hold on. I got to. Why can't I? I also always think of that SNL digital short where Kenan Thompson plays Reba. She she aged like a fucking. She looks. Like a What's that in the middle? I don't know. She looks like. pubed it out. She looks like the Hamburglar. She. (laughs) Yeah, she does. She looks like a like a duster. Yeah, that first picture ain't bad either, though. This picture strange though. How old is she? This picture is horrible. This how, looks like a haunted woman's picture. How old? Uh, that middle one though. Her eyes are a little too close. No, no, no. This nah. one, she's a fucking hot rocket old woman. She's. I mean, well, she's made her money and she's probably taking care of herself to how she ever she wants. Why and... are you talking in this fucking tone, this cadence? Well, she's probably going. Well, Joey, I think it's appropriate to say that fucking people age differently now because they can use their millions of dollars to prevent certain aging techniques. Still hot. Married twice. None of them have worked out. Well, she married. You know why, right? She's Reba, Joe. She's, I'm Reba. Uh, she Reba. She lets you know. Uh, she sold more than 75 million records. What? I haven't heard one. Honestly, uh, it's got to be. She has to have one of those like, just absolute country Christmas albums, where it's just like half it is just like you know like, country Christmas is about you know like just <laughs> shit like that you know. <laughs> <laughs> Where like half the album is like you know uh, cutting down a tree and having a bourbon, and then the other part is just like sweet baby Jesus. Yeah, yeah. What? What were you uh, laughing at? Well, her two of her, her both of her husband's names are fire. Oh, are they super southern? Charlie Battles. That's fucking sick. Reba Battles. Reba. Ba- well, she she, she renamed. If she took the name. Yeah. 
Uh, and then Narvel Blackstock. Whoa, what? dude. That dude lives in a castle. Narvel? That sounds like it's like an ancient fucking animal from Narnia. Narvel Blackstock. Oh, that's a Narvel Blackstock. Who she, uh, oh, wait. She was... Wait, that, what the fuck? That's why she's not going to marry again. She, there are no more cool names like that. Why does it say Kelly Clarkson, Narvel Blackstock's lawsuit to end in the fall? What the fuck is going on? Who the fuck... Oh, wait a second. Kelly Who Clarkson's... The, Clarkson. Kelly Clarkson's former father-in-law sued her in... Tw- he was her father-in-law? She married a Blackstock? Kelly? Is that what's... Hold f- oh, slow the fuck down. For those of you guys that don't know, if you're a little late, Joe and I have an intense love for Kelly Clarkson, and anyone that tries to come for our fucking queen, whose new album Chemistry is out now, is, <laughs> is gonna get fucking... It was his sir, sir, son. His son. His so, name's Brandon Blackstock. Fuck. Cool That's a too. good name, That's but Kelly name. Clarkson also carries a bit of a punch to it, Clarkson. too. Clarkson. Yeah. Kelly Clarkson. Kelly, Kelly Clark. I like her a lot. Um, but that's crazy. So there's some conflict of interest here, some overlap with Reeve McIntyre. Well, fuck, fuck the Mr. Paul Bl- uh, Blackstock. What's his yeah. name? Norville Blackstock? Narvel. Narvel. Narvel Blackstock. Sick name. Char- Shitty fucking guy, apparently. Charlie Battles, though? What happened to Charlie Battles? I don't know. Well, clearly he lost that one. But anyway... The battle of marriage. Well, he also lost the battle. So, he died. Oh, well, uh, he's from the South, so he's used to losing battles. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> what? That's funny. That's a Civil War joke. It's a big-time Civil War joke. What were you just saying before you were like, the South will rise again or something? I you didn't something say that. Like that. I, was qu- I was quoting what you had written on the board in your office. Can you show everyone your uh, conservative flag, uh, uh, your, what's it called? Uh, you tell me. Confederate flag tattoo. I don't have one. I, I know that Greg was asking me to get one with him as, you know, kind of like a brotherhood, <laughs> brother in arms thing. The reason why I was laughing before is because, like, you know how you type in someone's name and then there's, like, questions? The first one is, why did Reba's husband leave her? <laughs> it just says... It just says, Reba said that it happened because someone was not happy about the relationship. Duh. Fucking duh. There's your answer. Folks. Yeah. Enjoy. Uh, I can almost guarantee most, if not all, marriages have ended that way. I want to know. What Do you know the there was a study, a, a study recently? Frankie, you've said this fucking joke 10 times. Shut up. Joey, just a pl- oh, just play. Go ahead. Move. Go ahead. Just play whatever you want, Wait, Joey. We're not in the middle of doing work here. Frankie, I'm about to play a Reba McIntyre song. Oh, okay. All right. Cool. Throw this, it up. I'm assuming this is like a favorite. By the way, this isn't Patreon. We might get dinged, binged, bonged. I, I know, but... Give me give me, give me, me the, the... I just want to hear it for a second. I'm going to like... Just... Don't know that song. That's I don't crazy. know. I, I, don't I know. wouldn't be able to tell you what it was because you played fucking... Point two seconds. In I'm three trying to save us like, from the. But it get up. And it's like, oh, I, how am I supposed to know what that is? Listen, you wouldn't be good in a trivia round, all right? Shut the fuck up. You know I'm great at trivia. One of the rounds of the trivia that I do is like, well, I haven't done it in a while actually. I haven't gone to trivia in so fucking long. But anyway, I wish they had virtual trivia we could do. I would be there and I would win. They do. Oh, where? I don't know. Oh. It Mr. They do, but you fucking don't know where. <laughs> I thought you meant like a virtual trip, like a, like a sparkled could. quiz. No, I want to be there. I want to be like at the bar with you guys. Oh, oh, well, that you can do, <laughs> and just use your body to you're be right, there. You're right. Okay. Um, but one of the rounds is they play like the first like three seconds of a song, and you have to like give the song the title and artist. That's tough. For it is, three but seconds. I love that round. That is really good. There's a guy on TikTok who plays like one second of a song, and it's like, what is it? And it's like, you know, uh, some of those I'm good with, some of those That's I'm not. That's how you get retention on your videos, folks. I'm going to throw up. Anyway, we have to, we have to uh, pay the bills, keep the lights on. No, no, no. <laughs> we have to sneak into that party, even though we're not famous. I think, listen, we, you're, you're Mr. Big fucking Big oh, Time. Oh, relax. You're Mr. Big Time we living in a fucking. Tom Brady throwing blub, a football to Jay-Z blub, there. Blub, blub, blub. You could fucking do it. Apparently Tom Brady rumors him and Kim K. Dude. That would be nuts. Would it? I don't know. He seems like a bit of a dingus. I know he's a fucking legend on the field. Are you? In between the hashes, Joe. We're supposed to continue the fucking podcast after you just said dingus? Like Bro, a the fucking guy third lo- the guy fucking opted to play one more Stop year. Stop talking about anything. You said the word dingus. Yeah. What? What is... What? Why are you using that word? We started talking about Reba McIntyre. I figured I would throw in a southern insult in there, you know. Dingus is a southern insult? Uh, dingus? You fucking dingus? 
And that's, he sings a southern uh, insult if you say it with a southern accent. No, 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 no. You know, you know that's a southern one. Okay. Tom Brady's a dingus. I just, I, I don't obviously know the full story, but it, it appears, and I'm going to take the appearance as being the truth. We know that, Joey. Of course. What else are you going to do? It, <laughs> it appears that he like sacrificed his relationship with his wife and family to play one more year for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Yeah. Things happen in a marriage. We don't know. That's we don't know. We don't know. We don't know. But like, it looks like although he wanted to throw the ball, he really also dropped the ball. That's Frank Alvarez. Everybody. That's it. That's, that's what you get when you that's come here. That's his time. That's thanks it. for coming on the show. It is a little. Well, you kicking me out? That was a bit. It, oh. <laughs> um, but yeah, I guess we should keep the lights on. Keep them bitches on. Yeah, we do have some sponsors for today. The first one being Hair Story, which is best known for its hero product, the new wash. The first of its kind custom formula that cleans, conditions, detangles, and restores hair without harsh foams and damaging detergents found in traditional shampoos. You put in just random shampoo that you find in a, in a store in your hair. You don't really know what you're putting in your head. Uh, when you have something like this, the new wash, uh, like I said, it's like shampoo, but it's actually good for your hair. They don't have any of the damaging detergents found in traditional shampoos. Uh, so you're going to keep your hair nice and healthy and don't destroy it. Okay, it's made with gentle ingredients. Aloe vera, big fan when you got sunburn. Sunflower seed oil, jojoba seed oil. That's something I don't know what that is. And evening primrose oils. Also don't know. Uh, and that balance soothes, strength, and <clears throat> nourish and clean hair. Most people don't know that shampoo is the worst thing for their hair. Uh, new wash is 100% biodegradable, 100% recyclable pouch packaging. Um, so it's good for the earth as well. It's good for your head. It's good for the floor. <laughs> it's good for everything, baby. Uh, try new wash by going to hairstory.com. Use the promo code basement uh, and have your best hair day every day. Okay. Get 20% off exclusive savings when you use the code basement at hairstory.com at checkout. Again, hairstory.com. The promo code is basement to learn more. Uh, and use it at checkout for that 20% off exclusive savings, folks. Uh, also, we have Rocket Money. Rocket Money is an all-in-one personal finance app that's going to help you find and cancel unwanted subscriptions that maybe you signed up for by accident or maybe it's something you've been, you've been paying for for the last five months and you haven't even looked at it. It's time to cancel that. Put the money back in your pocket, okay? When we're talking about canceling these things over the course of a year, you could be saving hundreds, potentially over $1,000 a year, why wouldn't you do that? Depending on how irresponsible you are. But it's also going to help you budget. So you can, you know, you, there's, a, there's a feature on this app where you can uh, put in a budget so that you can track your spending and make sure that you're not being irresponsible with your spending. Uh, and there's a bunch of other things that you can do at Rocket Money. They're helping save people, um, on average, up to $720 a year. I'd rather have that money in my pocket than not. Um, so stop throwing your money away, cancel out one of subscriptions, and manage, manage your expenses the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash basement. That is rocketmoney.com slash basement. Again, that's rocketmoney.com slash basement, folks. Uh, go check it out and start saving some of your cash. Yeah, and guess what, folks? You know what you can do with some of that cash you might be saving? You can go over to patreon.com slash thebasementyard. Look behind Joe. You see that wall? See little streaks on the wall there? See little stains? Get, the, get out of the shot. Get out of the shot. See those streaks? See those stains? No, it's not because Joey and Greg filmed a sex tape in here. It's because okay. there's an exclusive episode available now on patreon.com slash thebasementyard for you folks, for all of our friends out there. We told you guys if we got to 22,000 patrons, we were going to do a brunch episode. And one, fucking boy, did we. And two, it's almost two hours long. <laughs> it, was, yeah. it was pretty nuts. So uh, we, we drank three to, bottles. <laughs> yeah, we wanted to thank you guys for helping us get to 22,000. And uh, uh, we did the brunch episode for you guys. So I hope you're prepared to watch Insanity. You can go to patreon.com slash the base of You sign up for that first tier. Well, these weekly episodes, you get them one week in advance over on Patreon. And then that second tier, well, that's where you get those exclusive episodes. The things that are a little raunchy, naughty, crazy, insane. All right? And you can go and watch all the previous episodes if you're new to the party. We, we want you all. We want you all to come and hang out. We know what we're doing for 23 and 24 and 25. So we ask... If you can, continue to support because there's a little bit of everything on Patreon, all right? You can get a super-powered mind, a mechanical canine, all right? You, hey, the episodes might even help you save the world from pure destruction, all right? So go check it out, patreon.com slash thebasementyard. Sometimes you say things and I don't know what you say, but... Uh, how, much, how much of the time would you say you're annoyed of me? On the show? Yeah. 
25%. It's way more than that. <gasps> You're shocked by that? Yeah. That's, I, I would think. Come on, baby. I would think most of the time you, you enjoy me and you, you're not annoyed by me. Oh, I don't know that I'm actually annoyed by you. I just asked what <laughs> percentages and you said more than 25%. I'm starting to get annoyed. You're yelling at me. Um, anyway, moving on. We have something to talk about. So, shh. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Something I wanted to talk to you about because you've been to a funeral, right? People have died. For sure. Your grandma being one, your dog, cat. Things die. Hey, hey. Yeah. Both grandmas. Got and it. we didn't have a funeral for my cat. We just stood around her and cried. Did you put it in like a box and like put it in your yard? My mom cremated it. They allow that? Don't ask me where the ashes are. Do they cremate bodies in the yes. same ovens with the cats? Uh, no, because I think that you don't cremate them at the exact same place. I think the vet has like a little like pizza oven in the back. Got it. Where like they can throw in, you know, like a you know, prosciutto oh, arugula. Yeah. Or they can throw in a fucking, you know, 15-year-old cat. Prosciutto arugula is a good fucking thing. Incredible, could, yeah. with, with some like balsamic glaze on it. Yeah, oh, a dead cat, very different though. Not, not in that t- same oven. No, I've never eaten one, as far as I know. I've never eaten a dead cat either, or an alive cat. I've never eaten either. Yeah, that's that's true. I've never eaten it either. I've never eaten cat. Me I neither. should say. Right, let's make that very clear. But pussy. <laughs> Anyway, uh, wanted to talk about this very interesting fact. Since we were talking about funerals, <laughs> since we're talking since about we're, it. all right, since we brought it up, <laughs> okay. Uh, nearly one in eight men, thirty-five and under, admit to bringing protection to a funeral just in case. Like what? Like a gun in case the fucking body comes back to life, like a zombie. I love the like just in case at a funeral. Like yo, what if? What if? Well, what everyone if, prepares themselves, but like, there's no just in case. It's it's to show off. And what talk. if the mourning family wants to fuck? That's insane. So like. Wait, f- I when I hear protection, I think like a gun or a knife. Oh, these are condoms. I hope. Wait, just in case they're gonna fuck the body. This is condoms. I'm assuming one of the alive people. Buddy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> they're not fucking the dead bodies. I don't know. I mean, just in case. I don't they know. Look really good. I just in know. case the Undertaker did a good job with the makeup. Oh, God, yikes! Yeah. I have a friend that's an undertaker. I don't think that that's like socially like acceptable to say anymore. An undertaker? I don't oh, think they like morgue, that. They're I, a morgue. Mortician. Morg, yep. That's I don't the one. think they like that name anymore. I almost said morgist, and then I was thinking organist. M- or morganist. Organist is the word with the organ. Yes. Yeah. Just like pianist is a pian, piano. Piano. Yeah. And uh, uh, violinist. Violinist. So yeah. But I guess, uh, I guess morticians are organists because they do play with organs. You ever notice that when you're at a, f- a wake or a funeral and it's an open casket, you never see their legs? You think they're wearing pants? You think the bodies are wearing pants? Uh, yes. Yes, they are. I don't know. You, I saw something. Apparently, they have to like put like special contacts in their eyes that are spiky because if not, their eyes would just fucking open up. Oh, they got to like pin them down? Yeah. I don't c- like It's kind of crazy. Stuff. I don't like dead people's faces. People's like, faces. You know when they're like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I do know what you mean. I don't like that. Like fix it, fix the, make them look better, or just like put them in a football helmet. Have you ever been? All right, here we go. Have you ever? <laughs> shit, shit, shit. Go ahead. You ever been to a wake where like, I, I've been to a wake where the conversation wasn't just. It was like about like, oh, this is sad, or like, oh, good for them. But the conver- topic good of com- for them. Yeah, like they lived a long life. You know? oh, 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 the topic of conversation was how bad they looked. Like the mortician didn't do a good job. Oh, yeah. The only time I've ever been to a, a a wake where I was like, "What the fuck?" was our friend in fifth grade. Yeah, well, he was a ten year old boy. I, I hope he didn't look great in the fucking coffin. Idiot! I'm saying, I when I walked up, I was like, I don't even know who this is. Like, yeah, there's something weird about. Didn't look like him at all. When when your soul, if that's real, leaves your body, it like you don't look the same. You know what I mean? Like you look different. Because I don't seen think a, it has anything to do with the soul as much as it does with being fucking dead. Yeah, Joe, but they could be freshly dead. They could be days dead, and they they would. Your do, organs stop working. Things do stuff. Yeah, but you don't decompose that rapidly. It's not about decompose. Was it decompose you moron? A fucking you think maggots were eating them? You no, know, they put them in a fridge. This is weird to talk this about is, a from fifth grade. This is. But I'm saying he looked very different. Though. He did look different. And I remember because when my uncle passed away, I remember when I saw him, I was like, he looks, he was also sick for a while, mm-hmm. but he just l- didn't look like himself. You know what I mean? Right. And I was just like, oh shit. My grandma's funeral, I was like, this bitch is alive. 
Like Damn. It, yeah, it looked like her. Really? Yeah, I was just like, yo, grandma. Get I up, mean, bro. I, I <laughs> you got everyone fooled, but not me. I think that's more because your grandmother looked like she was dying for years leading up to her fucking. Very nice. Nice, <laughs> <laughs> you stupid fucking bitch. <laughs> I think, that's, I think that's what it is. <laughs> Could have been my, bro, mine too. Don't worry about it. Oh, I know, dude. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. I don't even remember your grandma dying, to be honest. Really? Yeah, I don't remember. Oh, yeah. it was. Uh, you probably didn't talk about it. No, I, I definitely told you about it. <laughs> no. I definitely told And you were definitely there. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah, she. All my gra- all my grandparents went, like, uh, 10 years ago, actually. Wow, a decade. Yeah, it's been a decade without all of my grandparents. Right. And, you know, I'm all right. Former grandchild right here, baby. What's up? Yeah. That's one of my favorite lines. Former grandchild? That's such a funny... <laughs> it's such a funny concept. But hold on. People are trying to fuck at funerals and wakes? One in eight men bring condoms to a funeral just in case someone's trying to get down. Apparently. One in eight? That's like... I've never done that at a at a funeral. I, I've never I, been like, yo, damn, fucking, it's good. That's not true. Uh, yeah, no, it's yeah, not. Yeah, that's not true. That's Actually, not true. Yeah. And I know, I know, <laughs> we're both in the same boat there. Yeah, but I didn't bring a condom. I didn't bring a condom either. I mean, technically, it was like those days when like guys always carried one in their wallet. But like, I didn't no. like fucking pack one. Like, <sighs> yeah. Oh, and we're awake re- today. And me and Frankie are referring to at my grandmother's funeral, one of our older. Like teachers from our past were and there. And we try to spit some game. And we, you know, we were just trying to see if there was ever, ever some interest or whatever, you know? I'm all grown up now. We're all gr- Joey, look at Joey. Look at Joey. Put your muscle up. Muscle, give me bicep. No, give me that. Give me that. Give me that. That's a grown up bitch right there, baby. <laughs> also, this was like 10 years ago. It was 10 years ago. Yeah. 2012. 11. Nope. Yes. My grandma died in 2012? Yep. 11 years ago. Oh. I thought you were trying to say 2011. No, it was 11 years ago. Oh, yeah, yeah. Go what ahead. did I say? You, you said... Uh, <laughs> <I forgot laughs> this, forgot What's this, going on? This. I just said... Wakes and funerals are the least horny place like I can imagine. Like, you would think weddings make a little bit more sense. Hell yeah! Because, like, there are people there ready to party. No one's ready... Drunk as hell. Well, Dancing. There are people... Bro, my Love's uncle... Love's in the air. All right, slow down. There are people... There were people at my uncle's wake drunk. On the last day, I remember because I was fucking angry at one point because they poured liquor on him. But apparently, it's like a thing. <laughs> I not say your that. uncles. Yeah, walked up to a dead body and poured liquor on him. Yes, is that like a? Columbia it was not. It thing? was not my uncle. It was my cousin. I remember. So it was my uncle's. My uncle dead, gone. It was his wake. And it was the last, it was like, the, you know how they do the last viewing before they close it? And then it goes to the, the fun, you know, the, yeah. the, the, wherever it's going. The or landfill, blah, blah, blah. yes. Let's, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Yeah. And I remember everyone was saying the last goodbyes. And I was uh, like kneeling down on the, the pew. Is that what it, it is, I guess? It's, I don't know. It's like the kneel thing. The, 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 the place where the, the knees kneeling. go. Yeah. And... I was saying my last goodbye. I was very upset. My dad was standing next to me and he had his hand on me and a cousin of mine came over as clear as day. I remember this. He had a fucking little a nip, like a personal of a whiskey, something brown. I don't know what it was. And he takes a sip. He's crying and he says something in Spanish and pours it on my uncle. On his face? On his chest. <laughs> and I fucking, I looked at him and I went to stand up and my dad... No, 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 no. It's okay. That's a thing? A, a parent like fucking a Colombian lame. thing? I, I, I don't, don't, don't make this a race thing, bitch. What the fuck else would it be? It might be a Colombian thing, honestly. <laughs> yeah, obviously, it has to be. Just sprinkle a little coke on them and just get out of there. <laughs> what are we talking about? I, but I was like, what the fuck is going on? And I was pissed. And then my dad was like, when you were too young, like, because I didn't learn about like embalming or anything like that. Until, like, later in my life. Yeah. And then the wakes that you go to, have you ever, like, walked up and been kneeling there and just been like, fucking get up. <laughs> <laughs> You've never done that? I've I, been out of wake and I've been right near the body and I'm just like, get up. Get up, bitch. Get the fuck up. <laughs> no, I, I mean. Like, I'm, I was going to make it happen. I'm sure I have. But it, it's, it's, I don't know. It's, it's a weird, I, I don't know how we got to death. Oh, actually, I know exactly how we got there. One in eight men are bringing condoms. That's so they're story. Trying to fuck yeah, yeah, yeah. In a room with a dead body. Kind of crazy. 
Well, they're not trying to fuck at the wake, Joey. It's like, but they're in their mind. They've already had sex. I just think like, I've, I don't like, that's a weird place to be horny. Like, I'm not thinking like, this is a place that I'm going to get, I'm going to find someone who's going to fucking connect with me. Maybe people are like looking for a, a distraction. Like, I don't want to think about, my I don't want to think about this. So fucking blow my brains out for a minute. Yeah. And a half. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. I, I mean, Do people dress sexily? I mean, it's it's just it's normally just all black, but it could be like skin tight or short dresses. I or, or you know, we're speaking obviously no cleavage or anything. We're like speaking that. here as straight men. You know what I've never seen, and I've seen it in all the movies where they wear like like fucking fishnet over their face. Oh yeah, I've never seen that shit. I've never seen that either. What is that shit? Wait, actually, have I seen that? No, I've never seen it. I mean, like, put that. That's a that's for weddings. A veil. That's what it is. You know what I don't like. That's I feel like is kind of paired with that when when some of those women they would have like a veil but then they would also have like a little hat that's also on their bro head. and I'm like what are you a clown little what is ba- this? baby hats have to go Not, baby hats I knew fucking like goth kids in like high school that would do that like baby hats you know what I mean they'd wear those like like the the pink and black striped socks that they got from Hot Topic yeah. and then they'd wear a shirt that just says like you know rar means I love you and then they'd wear a fucking baby hat pinned to their head and. Let me tell you right now, I wanted to smack that fucking hat right off their head. Yeah, I, I would like to grip it and rip it. Damn, dude. What? That's a, I like that. Oh. Grip it, rip it. Yeah. And then they can stick it. Don't add to it. All right, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so guys are trying to fuck at, uh, at funerals. Can I ask you a question? Yes, yes, of yes. Of all the funerals you've been to. What was, which one was? Which one do you think you had the best chance of getting laid? <laughs> Um, and it could be not just your family. Like it could be my families or friends or whomever. I don't remember going to a funeral for you because that was probably a long time ago. Like I barely remember my grandmother's. I mean, my, my grandmother's was 10 years ago, so. I haven't. Um, hmm. I'm hoping that the, well, not that I'm hoping. I know that the answer is not my family's <laughs> because it's mostly family members there. Well, no, you're, you're, the closest I guess you came was your grandmother's. The closest I came? Oh, well, yeah. Because it was the only shot you really took. Well, yeah, it was the only shot I took. But I don't know if there was other stuff going around in that room at the time. You know how like we've always said like maybe one day we'll crash a wedding? If we get to a certain amount of patrons or whatever. We can't crash a funeral. Let's crash a funeral. That's heavy. Why? It is kind of funny, though. Who's going to kick someone out? Yeah, no. Were you invited? No, I you Just read the fucking mask card. And it'll, you know, because it always says, psych- hold on, what the fuck are you talking about for a second? <laughs> now, I'm just realizing what you're saying. I, you want to go to bitch, a it was in your, it was in your movie, bitch. Wedding crashers. I'm aware. But like, think about this. You go to a funeral that you don't know anyone. And you go and kneel down to a random body and say, God bless. Well, it needs to be, time. it needs to be at a not funny, like funeral, like a, a really old person or like, you know, like a super racist or someone. Wait, you said not funny. Yeah. What do you mean? Not funny. What's funny? Which one is funny? Like it needs to like when it's like, you know, people that died tragically. That's funny. No, that's not funny. Oh, you want to go to those? I, no. Listen to what I'm saying. You said not funny when it's the ones where it's too serious. Why did you say not funny? <laughs> because Indicating want, that there's funny you, you ones. You want to go, you don't want to go, I'm sorry, maybe I misspoke. You don't want to go to the not funny ones. Like, Obviously. The, and what I mean by funny is just like, no one's upset. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, they're old. We're all like, let's, let's, let's put it in terms of something that might speak to both of us. Like Tony Soprano's mom. People weren't really upset. Cause she was kind of a curmudgeon. You know, they weren't like, <laughs> oh, who's going to get upset at me? Tony Soprano, Joey. That would be very violent. Well, guess what? Not only is he a fictional character, mm-hmm. also did yeah. Um, I'm just saying, like, if you're gonna crash a funeral or wake, it needs to be like to someone that was like universally hated or a racist. So if you're saying that like it would be cool to go back in time and crash like a dictator's wedding, a uh, funeral, ma? Uh, I I don't think they get funerals. I don't think like anyone's like celebrating. Dictators when they go. That's an interesting question. I didn't ask a question. <laughs> <laughs> That's an interesting thought. Like Saddam Hussein and like. I don't think he had like. That's what I'm saying. Does, it, does he? Do yeah. He... Besides you, I don't think anyone was celebrating <laughs> Hitler. Yeah, but he also like. 
He yeah. He can't. Well, allegedly. You know what? Ew. Ew. I just thought about like. Never mind. That's fucked up. Say it. Well, we can oh, talk this about... isn't Patreon. This isn't Patreon. Well, I was just gonna say that like. No. Okay. I don't want to say <laughs> okay. it. Ew. Gross. Um. Okay. We have more sponsors <laughs> today. Uh. One being Simply Safe. Simply Safe, keep your home safe with Simply Safe. It is the uh, best home security system that you could find, folks. Uh, 24 7 live guard protection. Um, they have a new camera that is also uh, the only indoor security camera that can trigger the alarm and instantly deter uh, intruders with a built in siren. Uh, and it's an advanced motion detection and vision AI can sense the difference between potential intruders and pets. So it's not going to go off every single time your dog runs out into the yard to take a fat poop. 24-7 uh, live guard protection and the new smart alarm indoor camera work seamlessly as part of the entire Simply Safe security program. Uh, also, super affordable. Uh, professional monitoring costs under a dollar a day. A bargain for the peace of mind it provides. Okay, Frankie has Simply Safe. See it in his house all the time. Uh, you know, some you can get the window guard. So if a window goes up, then you have like an alarm that goes off. Uh, but it's good. So keep your stuff safe with Simply Safe. Um, and y- our listeners can get a special twenty percent off of any Simply Safe system when you sign up for Fast Protect monitoring. This huge offer is for a limited time. Visit simplysafe.com/basement. Again, that is twenty percent off of any Simply Safe system when you sign up for Fast Protect monitoring. Um, it's only a limited time, so go to simplysafe.com slash basement to get that 20% off, spelled S-I-M-P-L-I-S-A-F-E. Our next sponsor is Etsy. Etsy is great. I love shopping on Etsy, especially when the holidays come around or for birthdays. It's always the first website that I go to uh, when looking for gifts for other people or something that I just want in my apartment as well. Uh, there is beautiful items that are made by independent sellers on this website, uh, and there's a bunch of things that you can buy, uh, jewelry, furniture, art, and more uh, for all budgets, any occasion. Like I said, uh, usually when occasion rolls around, if it's you know a Valentine's Day or it's Christmas or someone's birthday, I will go on Etsy and see what's out there. There's wonderful things. I know I've bought uh, a wallet for one of my friends that was made out of like a baseball jersey on this site from an independent seller there. So really cool items that you can get, really cool gifts, I- gift ideas. And if you're new to Etsy, you can use the code NEW for 10% off your first purchase. That is the code NEW. Uh, maximum discount value of $50. Offer ends June 30th, 2023. You can see terms at etsy.com slash terms for home style and gifts. Uh, shop etsy.com. Etsy has it. Again, uh, use the code NEW for 10% off of your first purchase if you're a new Etsy shopper. Uh, and lastly here, we have Squarespace. Squarespace is a lovely platform where you can build uh, and launch your website. Um, if you're building a website because you have like an e-commerce store or you have, you know, any sort of products or content you create, um, whatever it is, and you want to promote that with a website, um, you can do that through Squarespace. Uh, love Squarespace. think it's the best one, honestly, to build. I've used other ones in the past. I just think that they're way more complicated and the websites don't look as nice. Um, I love the fact that they have like a bunch of templates that you can use um, to get started. Um, so it kind of like puts you ahead, um, in my opinion, when you can use one of those templates and sort of you know, customize it from there, um, as opposed to starting from ground zero and like trying to learn how to code or paying someone to make your website. That can be very costly. Some a lot, a lot of people don't have, you know, the startup capital to to pay for that sort of thing. So, go uh, check out Squarespace. Uh, you can head to squarespace.com/basement for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, use the offer code Basement to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Again, that is squarespace.com/basement for the free trial. Use the code BASEMENT to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. All right? So there you go, folks. I want to see, see your stuff. Um, what? Let's see your websites. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see your stuff. Guys, make sure you also go check out that fucking brand new dog-sucking merch, baby. Yeah. You got them bitches? You got them bitches over there? Yeah. Yeah, they're over there, baby. Uh, you, you won't be able to celebrate dog sucking season without the innovators of dog sucking season over here. That's right. The people that have coined the phrase and you need to do it in style, baby. Look at that shirt. Look at this. Good quality shirt. Look at this. Good color. Great design. Look at this. And, oh, look at that. Look we at got that. We got fucking 
Beautiful, yeah. beautiful design, beautiful merch. Yeah. Dog sucking season is the time of the people, baby. And you can't have and enjoy a dog without cooking one. And if you're going to cook one, you better be doing it in your dog sucking apron. Wear an apron. It makes you feel good. Go to shop.sanagatostudios.com. Good for you. .com. Got it. Oh, good for me like I'm a little bitch. Shut up. I, <laughs> I fucking got it. <laughs> like my little bitch. Shut that's, up. That's why I don't do the ads, by the way. Um, anyway, uh, there's some stuff to choose from, but you know what? I think we should talk about the potential, uh, battle royale between Mark Zuckerberg and, uh, Elon Musk. Elon Musk, Mark Zuckerberg, apparently people are going to fight, want them to fight in the Coliseum in Rome. If you fight in the Coliseum, someone should die. Bloodshed. Yeah. That's what we need. You should, whoever's winning has to look up. And then, like, I don't know, who and, could be... And there needs to be good, like, like some legitimate, like, filmmaking put into it. And there should be a tiger. At least one tiger. It needs to be a, a mace. A mace. You know what I'm talking about? I know and, exactly. What's the thing with the, with the, on the whip? On the, not the whip, the ball. Mace. Oh, that's the mace? Fucking, you're so stupid. What's a bludgeon? First of all, I think that's just a, from Harry Potter. A bludgeon? No, he's a, what? Bludgeon is an act. Like, you bludgeon someone. Yeah, maybe. Also, what are you talking about? I'm talking mace. Oh, no, Harry Potter would be like, it's, you're a keeper. Or you're whatever a, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that right there, that's the bludger. Yeah, is it? Is that what it's called? I think so. Yeah. Now I'm you're just changing I'm accents. Sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know what's going on. But I also need a shot of whoever wins, the gr- like the, the, the dust or dirt or sand next to them, and then their blood hitting that. Yeah, because there needs to be blood. I'm picturing the movie Gladiator. Great film, Russell Crowe. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm. Guy's been through a lot. Um, what? Yeah, didn't he like beat someone with a phone? Oh, I was talking about his character in the movie. Oh, okay. I he beat you someone with a phone. That's kind of. I think like in real life, he's an Australian, which they're notably insane. Are they? Yeah, dude. Look at all the animals there that want to kill them. And uh, they're all descendants of like criminals. Who? Australians? Yeah, dude, you didn't know? Oh, yeah, that was like Austra- a prison. Australia was used as like the prison for England or some shit like that. Nice. They'd just be like, you're locked up. You're going to this island. Of- That's fucking dope. That's beautiful. <laughs> <With> <laughs> the incredible <Gold> beaches. <laughs> and sick animals. No, animals there are fucking nuts, Yeah, dude. but I would hug the shit out of a kangaroo. Yeah, and it would fucking rear back and kick a hole through I your know, chest. but I'm saying like if I like was able to like like talk to it or something. That's a bird. That's not going to talk to anything. Yeah, but that kind of noise any animal likes. And then if it like likes me and then I'm able to hug it, like I'm sure someone's hugged a kangaroo before. Yeah, I'm sure they probably have no fucking... I'd like to get in a kangaroo's pouch. No, that's wet and slimy. It's like getting... It's like fucking it, Joey. What's wrong with you? What are you talking about? That's where the babies are born, dude. You and think it's a pouch what, like it's a pocket? And what are the babies called? Joey's. I belong in the pouch, bitch. So you want to be a... You want to be a little Joey. I want to get in a kangaroo's pouch. You you know what you need. Is it slimy in there? Yes, dude. It's like their fucking vagina in there. It's like, it's not just a pouch. It's not like a pocket. There's a hole in there, dude. Into like their fucking organs and shit. Look it up. You got the computer. Wait, so how do, how do they have sex? They have back stuff. Oh, they do like They doggy? have like back and under stuff. Is it kangy? Yeah. They, <laughs> kangy style? They, 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 yeah. But they all, like their pouch is like... It's like wet. Ew. That's why the guy the, the I still get in it though. Really? When Whatever. you have a kid, yeah. And if you if you, are you if you have a boy, are you going Joey Jr.? Probably I don't know. Well, if you did. Yeah. I'm I'm setting very specific parameters by specific right here. ones. <laughs> if you have a kid and you name it Joseph, you need to be a kangaroo one year and you need to put the Joey in, in there, your yeah. fucking front post. I could just do that anyway with any kid with any name. No, because Not the, the joke kid. is that I was just saying. <laughs> My kid, I yeah, bet. The joke is that you, it's a baby Joey whose name is Joey. Right. That's the that's the humor. I know, and that clearly sucks. not because you're like I can do it. With any <laughs> <laughs> what were we talking about? Uh, Elon, Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg. Who wins that fight? Um, Elon's big and tall like Frankenstein. Is he? I think. 
Isn't he? <laughs> isn't he? Let's look it up. Let's, yeah, like let's do Mark, tail of the tape here. Yeah, let's let's see what's going on here. Mark Zuckerberg is a little bitch, but he did he does train now. Damn, Martell. why is he a little bitch? Dude, he's like a skinny little bitch. I'll fucking beat the shit out of him. All right, maybe. Elon Musk height and weight. Uh, this is a very. Uh, oh my God, the Zuck is five seven. Oh my God, that's how sucks. tall is Elon? Uh, f- he's Elon's fifty one. Um, that's, uh, that doesn't answer your question. But, it doesn't. Uh, all right, he's five eleven. Five eleven. And he, oh, they put it in kilograms. How many? Seventy three. There's no way he's 73 kilograms. That's what it says here. Take it with a fucking pound of salt, though, because this shit is probably a very... 73 kilograms is 160 pounds. Zero no percent. fucking way. Zero. Bro, look at this guy. He's, he's like, two something. He's got to be at least 210. Yeah. I would say. Also, Mark Zuckerberg is like 160. 160 and he's 5'5"? Five five? No wonder why he he's had to five make... seven. It still sucks. Yeah, he's you he's don't Mark Zuckerberg's taller than you. That's fucking crazy. I didn't know that. I am not five six nor five seven. You're right. You're five five. Nope. <laughs> five five with a size eight shoe. <laughs> uh, you do have a size eight shoe. I don't have a size eight shoe. I first of all, this is the end of times. We don't need to see them fight. I'd like to see them fight in the Coliseum, and one of them should go. I agree. The only reason I'd want to see them fight is if they do a gentleman's agreement that they have to kill the other person. Think about this. Think about the potential. If someone dies in the Coliseum and that blood gets into that soil, maybe that's like an actual sacrifice and something cool will happen. Or something not fucking cool. Or something not cool. Like like a big monster. Yeah. Like what if like the Hydra comes back or some shit like that? Who's that? The Hydra. It's the dragon. You cut off one head. Two more shall take its place. Oh, the three-headed dragon? Well, it has that's that's King Ghidorah from Godzilla. Oh. A Hydra can have three heads, but but has a regrowable head. Once you cut off one head, two more come. So How could you cut off a giant head like that? Well, it fought Hercules, Joey. You be Hercules. That's how you cut it off. Nice, good for him. Yeah. We don't have one of those anymore though. I, I'll do you one better. Don't think we ever did. Me neither. I think that maybe he he just like worked out a lot. Like he was like the rock, and there were and there were. Or like, oh no, or none of them existed because they're all mythological characters. Hercules, no, no, no. yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, Hercules, the Kraken. The, the Kraken was probably just a giant squid. Which those are real. I know those are real in there. Yeah, they are. Uh, the there's a bunch of other ones, you know, like the Titans. Who's the dude that flew? With the sun, got too close to the sun. Uh, Icarus, story of Icarus. He wore yeah. a plastic or metal or, or some sort of wings. And he flew too close to the sun. They melted. He went to his yeah. doom. I mean, it was probably just like a dude who was trying to build a. No, again, not real. These have to be rooted in something. No, they're rooted in people telling stories to just fucking pass the time. I know, but like, no, you don't think there was like a big strong guy and everyone's like, God, oh, this guy's so strong. He's like, a, he's like God. I'm sure there was big strong people. That's what I'm saying. But also back then, the ancient Greeks, the, their average height was like 4'10". Let me ask you a question. I went down... <laughs> okay, this is funny. I went down a rabbit hole the other day of like conspiracy theories. Do you believe in giants? No. Come Did, on, man. Oh, you need me to? All right, how, ask me nice. again. Ask me again. Do you believe in giants? I don't know. Change my mind. That was it's not the thing I was expecting. Okay, all right. Do it one more time then. I'm not doing it again. This is for a clip, obviously. No, I... <laughs> Why the fuck else would I want to talk about this? No, I'm saying I went down a rabbit hole and I saw some stuff about gi- I I didn't not believe in giants at, at one point cuz some people were like yo giants built the pyramids or whatever. I don't fucking know. But I am saying giants make sense to me. Cuz if you look at like Shaquille O'Neal, right? Yeah, t- very tall. Huge tall guy. And what is like 72? God, I don't know. Yeah. But, like, maybe he just has, like, trace amounts of this giant DNA in his body. But he's got some of it, so that's why he's a big fucking dude. But then back in the day when it was more, like, like plentiful and, like, you know, in people, like there was were, a whole race of gigantic people that were huge. They were, like, fucking that's 20 interesting, feet That's tall. interesting you say that because in Norse mythology, they have the people of Jotunheim. Uh, who they believe to have been the giant race. That's what I'm saying. So maybe there were the Jotun. And you don't think that we killed them? Like, yo, they're too big. They're going to take How the fuck would we kill? How would us? 
Bro, if there was a giant that oh, walked spears. in here. I don't know. Spears. Bro, if there was. A, Bro, ropes. Trip them. Once they get down, boom, boom, boom. Go from Gulliver's travel shit. I see what you're saying. Exactly. I don't know. I don't think so. I, I, I think if there were giants, we're not fucking taking them out. And, and I can imagine it's short little bitches like you and fucking Alexander the Great, Napoleon, who thought of that. You know, who, th- who said, like, there were giants, our army killed them. Just saying. Because that's what they all operated on back then. Just, like, tall tales of just fucking, like, heroic battles. You would do well back then because you, you like to lie. And make Shut up, sense. bitch. Well, I'm just saying. People uh, would have thought Joey you were Joey says that because when I was 13, I, he fucking disproved one thing I said and swore that I lied <laughs> about it. Fuck you. Uh, 13 is very late for that. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, no, I believe in giants. Also, there was, like, a bunch of things about, like, uh, the temples around the world and like pyramids and stuff and i'm like we didn't make these well i think or not that we didn't make these but that the civilizations that made those way more advanced than us but definitely uglier and stinkier well yeah there's some there's some weird things like oh my god they're disgusting they're all covered in like dust and probably soot you 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 love soot well no every time i see a picture of like like a it's like they're like they have hair all over their face those are cavemen, Joey. That's Though, what I mean. They were not advanced. They were probably way dumber. What? But you're thinking of like the ancient Romans, the ancient Greeks, you know, the, the fucking, you know, people like that. I just think that they were probably like covered in hair, no hygiene stuff. No, I will tell you, know you what this. I'm saying? I don't, How did they have sex? They, they just walked around naked most of the time or, and they were, they, they're also, how do you not get a UTI and your whole shit falls off? Cause stuff was different back then. Cause people weren't going around like that fucking Penn state professor and fucking dogs in parks back then. They were just like eating grapes, drinking wine, and then like having big bushes. That's what they had. <laughs> That's what protect them from all that stuff. Big old fat old bushes. Or they will hold in all the bacteria and I'm not going to jump over the professor thing you just said. Hmm? Mark? Yeah, apparently there's a story of some professor got caught trying to have sex with his dog in a park. Trying. Or doing it. At a park? Yeah. Not that I'm condoning this behavior, but it feels like a, like a private indoor in your apartment yeah, yeah, with, the fucking, outside. with the phone off the hook and the <laughs> goddamn you heard lines it here, down. You heard it here from Joey. Have sex with your dog in your own place. No, I'm just going to say that's, if no, you're that's gonna, what you said. That's what you I'm said. I'm saying if you're going to. He also. Uh, people the park said, is in the bottom three places. People said that they. Uh, he was reportedly found in like a ski mask and like other things to like hide his identity. In a park in with a, a dog? <laughs> Dude, literally just go home. Like you don't need to wear a disguise. You're in public. Like, so just that's go your home. that's your advice to the bestialists out there is to just unsure if that's a word, <laughs> but it, I know what you mean. Uh, you know the bestiality supporters just like just have yes. sex in your own home. I think that would be best. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do it. Disgusting, <laughs> and I will hunt you down. But like. Uh, park. But that's what they were doing back then in like the ancient times. They'd be like, oh, this dog here, this street dog is a fucking descendant of, you know, Hephaestus. And if I have sex with it, I'll be gifted the iron might of the gods. And it's like, dude, you're just having sex with a street dog in the middle of the desert. It's funny because when I think about that, <laughs> it's funny because when I think about that, I feel like it's the equivalent of when you're younger and you're like, when I put these new sneakers on, I will be the fastest person alive. I will be like Mike. Exactly. It's just like, and then you put them on, and then you run a race. If you beat anyone in the race, everyone was just like, whoa. Yeah. You know. Well, it's like it, it's like when people like I don't know if you were like this when you played sports, but I was, and I guess still to this day, I am very superstitious. Okay. And it's like the people that would be like, oh, I put a, you know, I had a hot dog before the game and then they won like 10 to two. And they're like, I have to have a hot dog before every game. Yeah. And then they have one the next game, they get slaughtered, you know, and and then they're like, oh, well, it's because I didn't tie my shoes correctly. I should have had eight hot dogs. Yeah. You know, it's, it's the same shit. You know, they would do all that stuff. I, I recently read a bunch of, you know, stuff on mythology and they would do stupid shit like that all the time to like scare kids most of the time. Oh yeah, you know it would be like uh, you know don't uh, don't uh, don't 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 go in that water. The you know Titan will take you down. Yeah, you know the stupid shit. Tell you what though, we talked about this on the brunch episode. But if fucking what's his name King Triton was a real thing, I'd get right in that water. I am astonished that you remember anything from that episode. <laughs> Yo, I'm kind of fucked up because that. I don't, guys. I can't plug. <laughs> I cannot plug that episode. I don't, episode. Know what we talked about. I don't either. Like all we, I know is is that you shot. 
champagne all over Greg at one point. I, I shot champ I shot Greg with champagne. Yeah. Still on the wall behind you. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do something about that. It's just wiped down with a white paper towel. I know how to clean things. Oh, okay. <laughs> do ya? Yeah. And uh, the forty bags of garbage out there say the opposite, bitch. <laughs> Why? That's because I cleaned. You know what? You you actually got me there. Uh, you've been got. I've been given. That's not. No. I yeah. felt more holy. You've been given. Uh, I guess not. For thy is risen. All I'm saying, I'm interested in Musk and Zuckerberg fighting. Yeah. I th- I think Musk probably wins because he's big and doofy, like you know, like a Vince Vaughn or a Frankenstein. But if Zuckerberg really is training in like fucking Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Dude, how dope would it be? Just like play for keeps. To have like two of the richest men on earth fight each other. If they do it, I want to be on the, the rest undercard. of us are fucking doomed. Yeah, like I I want to who's on the undercard? They're not just going to do that. It'll be like fucking like Jake Paul and Jake baby Paul should baby fight. Gronk. Well, yeah, Jake Paul should fight baby Gronk. Yeah. And then like uh George oh. Bush should probably fight Obama or something like that. No, 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 no. The, uh, Al Gore. Joe, Joe Biden. George Bush and Al Gore. George Bush and Al Gore. Just, just a rematch of all the presidential elections. Yeah. Joe, uh, Donald Trump uh, should fight Joe Biden. And Hillary Clinton. Two on one special. They'd all die. <laughs> you just put them out there in the sun too long. Bro, they, you heard they found cocaine in the White House? Fire. And did you see there's a... <laughs> did you see the video of Hunter Biden? That was my next question. This guy's smoking crack going 180... 170 miles an hour. fucking Vegas? Going to Vegas. Dude, if I was Hunter Biden, at this point, <laughs> dude, lean into it. Yeah, just just tweet out, "Sorry for partying." <laughs> just, just tweet that out, "Sorry for partying." There's also virgins. there's also some other stuff there that maybe we shouldn't make too much fun of. I don't know, but stuff. smoking crack and driving 170 miles miles an hour and then living to tell a tale is no easy feat. Uh, c- clearly, and he was smoking crack. I would say, I, like, we need to have, like, remember that show Intervention? Just, like, an episode with Joe Biden and Hunter? Dude, this country is hilarious. This is the funniest place also, on the planet to live. I don't know why. Every day, having... every day is a fucking sitcom. <laughs> Listen, the other day for 4th of July, it rained in New York. So the hot dog eating contest got delayed. And it was canceled, but then they eventually put it on. Because people lost their fucking minds. Bro, you don't fuck with those hot dogs. Don't eating fuck contests. with me watching someone eat 70 fucking hot dogs. No, 62, I think he went for. Joey I Chestnut, know. man. Yeah, disgusting. Let me tell you. I watched the women's too. Oh, uh, what was her name? Because I'm not sexist. I, you aren't. Her name was something Sodu. Mickey so- Sudo? Yeah, I was, I was rooting for Glizzy so Lizzy. So was I. Glizzy oh, no. Lizzy. Oh, no, she fucking sucked it up, to be honest. Oh, that, that, that's the name of the game. There were two women in the contest from Astoria. Two. Whom? Anyone we know? No. Damn. One of them, the last name is Benedetto. I remember that. And she ate like five. I can do five. What is it? 60 seconds? T- Are you fucking insane? <laughs> what is it? It's 10 minutes. Oh, I can eat five in 10 minutes? <sighs> That'd be tough. The, the, the part that fucks me up is the bread. It fucks everyone up. I think I could do it. I think I can. I, I think we should have a, this hot dog eating contest here. I don't want anyone to like die, cause you'll choke. Would you dunk? No, I can't dunk. I can't do that. Dude, Danny from the I told you this, but Danny with the piggy boys. I watched I watched a video of him. I don't know if it's two hot dogs or three hot dogs. He ate those and drank a beer. Yeah, in five minutes. No, in a minute. Oh, I would choke. I would uh, a minute's too quick. That's just insane to me. Kid's a tank, man. He's a big guy. Uh. But yeah, I think I've done a hot dog. I have done a hot dog eating contest like way back in the day. Yeah, I think it was like you, Boss, and Tommy. And then we put it. I was. It was on a Senegal. full screen. Oh, so I don't have the footage. But I'm pretty sure I also <laughs> drank a butt heavy. Uh, well, there you fucking go. There's 12 <laughs> hot dogs and in I had one. ketchup on my. <laughs> yeah, there you go. But I, uh, I think I ate three and a half in ten minutes. It's <sighs> tough, dude. No, I can eat. I can eat at least four. In 10 minutes. I think Boss ate like seven. Boss, he used to be able to put them down. Guy looks great now, by the way. Haven't seen him, but I Im- imagine. Okay. <laughs> That's such a weird thing to say. <laughs> uh, anyway, I think that we can wrap up here. Frank, where can they find you, buddy? 
at palvers8085 on Twitter, the Frank Alvarez on all the forms of social media. And I keep telling you guys, go check out that Patreon, patreon.com slash the basement yard. We want to get to 23. We get something cooked up, ready, locked, loaded, and ready to squirt. And then 24, we got something. And then 25, <laughs> we got. So uh, thank you. Brunch episode out now. We appreciate it. Let's keep on moving in the right direction. Go get the new dog sucking merch. Shop.sanagatostudios.com, baby. Yeah, go follow me at Joe Sanagato and go follow the show at the basement yard on TikTok and Instagram. And that is all. See you guys next time. Later.